back to Bushcraft Outdoors. I have a Benchmade knife here. So this will be a bit of an unbox and a review. This is a precinct flipper. So my first, first Benchmade, let's get right into it. Simple box there. And inside we have a soft case with the Benchmade logo, kind of nice. We've got a manual here, Benchmade manual. Goes through care and stuff like that. So put that aside, don't need that. And interesting, inside the box there's a very nice <laughs> foam rubber kind of padded there. So very nice attention to detail, but don't need the box. Let's get right into the review. So again, a little toggle here, a little keeper. Uh, keep the bag nice and closed, so that's kind of a neat feature. Soft case. Never had a knife that came with a soft case before, so it's interesting. And inside we have the Precinct Flipper. So this is a nice compact knife, everyday carry. Um, it's the second design collaboration between Butch Ball and Benchmade. The Precinct features thrust ball, uh, sorry, thrust bearing washers and a textured G10 handle. So we got nice G10 texturing there. And it's got a nice finger relief on it as well. You see that? Um, so incorporates uh, this for exceptional grip. It's got a flipper in the back side there. You can see that a little flipper there. So it does open very nicely. So just simple like all other flippers, just flick her open. She opens very, very nicely. Uh, nice blade, nice steel. Uh, the steel is going to be... Uh, that's a good question. That is a very good question. Blade steel, it's a 58 to 61 HRC. Very easy opening. It's a liner lock. And it's kind of a half liner really, but uh, so you get the little stud there in the back, flipper stud. So I'll just flick it open. It opens very, very easy, very quick. It rides on bearings, so um, nice little knife. The blade length is 3.3 uh, inches and the overall length is 7.78. So very, very nice size for everyday carry. It's got a, uh, a nice clip on it, so it's going to be tipped down and it's ambidextrous, so you can uh, either left or right handed uh, tip down carry. Um, no, sorry, tip up. Tip up carry, sorry guys. Uh, tip up uh, left or right. Um, very, very nice blade shape. Sort of a uh, drop point, but then a reverse drop point, so it kind of comes back just a wee bit there. So, very nice uh, sort of gnarling on the back side there of the blade, so you can get a nice good uh, thumb grip there for cutting for cutting control, if you're doing any sort of slicing. And it's got uh, very nice shape scalping there for your hand, for so your fingers to fit into. Um, the handle could be a bit longer. I, uh, for an everyday carry, I maybe, maybe another half inch in length might be good. But uh, overall, it fits, fits nice in the hand. Um, it feels like you're gonna have good control. You can kinda, there's gnarling on the back side of the, or jimping on the back side of that uh, stud. The uh, stud, so you can actually put this finger in there for friction. You can put the jimping there for your thumb. And then with your fingers, I feel like I would have very, very good control of this of this knife when doing any sort of cutting tasks. Um, nice blade shape. It's, uh, it's a nice, pleasant, very useful. The drop points are very useful between outdoors work, um, box cutting, everyday carry. Uh, you can maybe even skin an animal with this if you really had to. So um, it's a good all-around knife for sure. Like I said, it is sort of a half liner. So it's got uh, black and stainless on the one side, and then just the uh, the, the back spacers on the back side, silver back spacers. You can see that. And then the half liner. Um, I noticed the the liner lock was a little stiff um, when I first uh, opened this. I did open it before just to check it out. But uh, it seems to have smoothed out a little bit. Um, liner locks aren't my favorite, but uh, they work. They're not bad. Like for an everyday carry, they're okay. Overall, the knife is, is a nice, pleasant thickness. This would be the thickest I'd want for an everyday carry for me personally. I wouldn't want anything thicker than this. Um, closed length, you're looking at 4.48 inches. So again, in the pocket, this will be nice and compact. You don't have to worry about it being too big or too long. Um, and the handle thickness is 0.48 inches, so um, just about half an inch. So yeah, again, you know, decent, not too thick, not too thin. So and and weight right around that 3.42 ounces for weight. So very very good carry. I would say anything four ounces and under is 
is kind of between that three and four ounces is what I'd look for for a, a weight for everyday carry. Price point this comes in at about 150, 160, so um, I would say pretty good value considering it's bench made, made in the US of A. Looking for a very easy to open flipper, something that fits nice in the pocket and isn't too big or isn't too small. Check out the bench made precinct flipper. Thanks for watching. Please check out my uh, other bushcraft videos. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check back within a few weeks. I should have a new video. Thanks for watching.